right, good job. All right, what is next on our routine? Hit the dummy. Okay, so here, here's what we have, guys. We've got two dummies, one right there, one right there. We're gonna grab a sword and shield, and then for three minutes, we're just gonna warm up, um, combining our footwork, our hit work with the, the sword arm, and then also with our shield. So grab your sword and shield, MSF, okay? Three minutes, someone got a timer? Okay, so we are gonna pretend like we're not in the same household, and we're gonna social distance. So I'm gonna move my itinerary my over there. I got the shield, Zin's got a shield. Now again, we're combining our footwork, right? So that's leading step, that's passing step, and that's triangle step, okay? So I'm combining those, I'm combining my strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven right any number of those and i'm also the shield work right so up here shield uh like shield strikes like like uh, we can hit with the flat of our shield right we can do a barn door this way that way we can come together with our shield attacks anything that you can think of for three minutes okay we're not just attacking 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 we're just warming up okay ready okay we are ready on the on the time All right, just warm it up. Probably not. <laughs> well, is it a good one? It... All right, focus on your, on your shield work. How are we, yeah, how are we for time? Huh, all right. Don't want to bore the audience. Well, this is important. sword. Woo! All right, what we got next, Nate? All right. Steps. Okay. Let's break it down into our steps, okay? So, three main three main kinds of steps. Right? We have our Now, 
to show you in a classic defensive position, right? My shield foot is forward. So that dummy, I'm out of measure. I step in, right? This is called what? A passing step, right? This is a passing step. Now, once I'm here and I step again, that is called a leading step, right? This is leading. Now, I could do a reverse leading and I could do another passing step. They just call it passing step. I mean, it's a forward or reverse passing step, if you like. Um, what step am I missing? Come in here in the camera view so they can see you. Which ones? Okay, well, they're kind of the same. So I could traverse, right? Or I could triangle. Now, uh, can that camera see me vis a vis this line? Okay, so here's this dummy, and this line represents the middle plane. Okay, so if I'm here, right, and I want to go on the other, well, okay, I'm on this side of the line. Let's say I want to go on that side of the dummy, right? Then I traverse over, but then I want to brace myself, right? I want to have a proper structure. That is a triangle step because my feet made a triangle with my steps, okay? Notice every time I do a triangle step, I'm also traversing on one side or the other, okay? So as I traverse, I'm also making a triangle step. Now, I don't have to. I could traverse over this way and not, uh, not make a triangle step, right? I could just traverse, in which case I'm way over here, I didn't make a triangle, if that makes any sense, right? So I could just traverse over, like I could traverse like this, I could traverse like this, right? I could traverse like that and I didn't make a triangle step, okay? So Zay, come over here so they can see you, stop fidgeting. This is live, dude. This is class, okay? Stop screwing around, stay right there. So, those are the steps, right? So, we're gonna practice those. These would be the, the dummy, okay? So, let be just out of measure, okay? Measure, of course, I'm in distance or in measure when I can hit this dummy. Um, I'm out of measure, I'm out of distance, depending on what, uh, what fight uh, discipline you're practicing. So, this is called measure right now. So, we were out of measure, right? I got my shield out. I'm together in what we call tent, right? Here's a guard called tent. And I'm here. So now we're going to practice our passing steps in tent. We're just going to do uh, a, a two hit combo, right? So I take a step, one, two, and then I'm going to take more passing steps out. Now, notice I did a passing step, I hit one, and for two, I took another step to get on the other side. And then I just reversed. Nice and easy, guys. All right, let's do that 10 times. You ready? See what I did? I'm gonna watch you do it. I wanna see you do it. And go. Good, all right, let's do that 10 times. Ready, begin. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Yeah, finish off in stance, nice and strong with the ten. Good job. Be sore. Yeah, okay. So now we're going to do this with leading steps, okay? So I am still back here. Okay, shield foot is forward. I'm out of distance, okay? But I'm gonna take an initial passing step. The reason why we do this is we wanna stay true to the martial art, okay? So the codices all tell us, uh, often times, well, more times than not, we're like here, right? So we step in with our sword foot, okay? Even if we're not totally in distance yet. But we want to train to do that. There's lots of reasons we won't cover now. 
trust me on that. Okay, so we're here. I take a step, right? I'm still not there. So I need to take another, another leading step, okay? So first one is passing, always. Second, leading, right? Now I'm gonna go one, two, and reverse, okay? Reverse leading step. Now, to make a proper reverse leading step, you don't step with the front foot first. That's something different. You want to retire with your back foot first, then front foot, okay? What foot first? Are you paying attention? You need to respect the people in front of the camera. Okay, so here we go. I'm like this, this, and back, okay? I wanna watch you do it. Yeah, buddy. Join the dance team, that looks really good. Okay, here we go, 10 times, and go. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. Remember to finish off strong, guys. Always have the discipline to finish strong in your stance. Oh, you're getting fancy in house now, are you? Okay, so now this is gonna be a little bit different because now we're doing triangle steps. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. Intent now, we're gonna come forward. Passing step, then we're gonna do triangle step. Okay, so I start here, do a passing step, hit number one. Triangle step, hit number two. Notice where my shield is. Is my shield back here? It is not. I'm not being a movie fighter, okay? I'm not, that's right, it's not a counterweight. It is a shield, the shield stays forward, right? It's harder to do, that's why we have to practice it, okay? So, uh, back to the drill, here we go. So I take a passing step, I hit, hit number one, and I take a triangle step, I hit number two. Notice where my shield is. My shield is still in front of the dummy, even though I took a, a, a triangle step, okay? Number two, all right? And then reverse passing step and just kind of get back to where you were before, okay? Make sense? Okay, ready, begin. Right, and then end, yeah, and then just kind of reset, okay? All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. You guys can see our feet, cameras can see feet. All right, here we go, ready, go. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Looking good. Nine. Ten. Yeah, buddy. Give me so. Yeah! Okay. Now, what are we going to do next, Nate? Okay. Three best basic steps. Okay, so we do that in house. I'm oh, sorry. We did that in ten. Have I been saying house? Good. I've been saying 10, right? Good. Yeah, I'm in this state where my mouth says stuff. Okay, so that was 10, okay? Now this is house, right? Now proper house is, the shield is like so. Sword is not straight up and down, it's at an angle. And this protects you from a straight up and down hit. What are you doing? Right, that guards his head. Okay, if he was intent, be tent. Okay, down like this, right? I could potentially be able to hit him upside the head. Or I could potentially, in being, I could come straight down and hit him, right? But being house now, 
now I cannot, right? So that's what good house is for. House is very good to protect your head. Okay, um, this drill works the same as house. So let's just do that last drill, okay? Let's do that last drill. Actually, let's combine all the drills thusly, okay? So I'm here in house, see? I'm here in house, pay attention to the footwork, okay? I'm back here. I take passing step, but I'm nowhere near in the uh, in distance, right? So then I take another leading step, right? I hit one, a triangle step for hit two, and then reverse back into house, okay? We're gonna do that 10 times, so we're combining this all. I'm here, right? I take a leading step, and then I take a passing step, one, two, back into house, and I get back into position and start again. One, two, okay? And that way, we're doing all three um, steps in house, okay? Ready? Here we go, and begin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Yeah, buddy. Okay. This is a lot harder than it looks. You really got to get it down. So, practice that, guys. If you don't quite have it, that's okay. Work on it. Be patient with yourself. If you just can't find the footwork, then simplify the drill. Put the sword down, put the shield down, and just focus on. You can just hold your sword out, right? You can just hold your sword out to discover where you are in relation to the dummy, okay? So, but footwork is super important because you're setting up your relation to the target with your footwork and you have to, they're moving too, right, in real life. So you have to be um, supple enough with your footwork to where you can get them to where you want them, okay? So you're always making subtle changes with your feet. But in order to do that, you have to be very, very comfortable with these three basic steps, okay? So work on it. That is your bread and butter. 70% of all sword fights is one with your footwork, okay? So remember that. Okay, now what else? Let's see what time it is. Okay, we're making good time. So, oh, oh okay. Well, no, no worries. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so let's talk about voiding and leg slips, okay? So I alluded to this before without saying that I was alluding to this, but leg slips and voids, okay? A leg slip is a void, but not all voids are leg slips, okay? So he, yeah, okay, well, let's focus on this, all right? So let's say I'm here like, like this. So if it is forward because I'm attacking, right? Now, uh, well, it's best if we're like this. Okay, so we're like this, and you're gonna do a number. You're gonna do a number two hit, but you're going for my leg. Yeah, you're going for my leg. Okay, so he's there, and I'm here, like this. Now I'm gonna decide that I don't like what. I don't like him attacking like that, but I think that I can get him off balance if I don't counter, because he might be expecting something like this. Or he might be expecting something like, no, no, same hit. He might be expecting something like this. Okay, go for my leg like before. He might be expecting something like that. Or he might be expecting something like that. Like maybe, since I have a shield, he's probably expecting shield, stop sword. That's probably what he's expecting, right? And he's gonna do something fancy, so I have to come way down here. And he's thinking he's gonna knock me off balance because if I really make an adjustment with my shield, and he's gonna hit me, one of two things happens. Either he's gonna beat me and hit me in the leg anyway, or he's gonna set me up to be 
totally off balanced in, in, in a weird spot so he could just come and hit me here. Well, but look, if you're gonna hit here, it's easy to just go like, duh, duh, right? So, so if you're there and I try and block it and now, yeah, right? So he could get me really easy because I'm, I'm totally absorbed with stopping that, right? That's what he's thinking, maybe. But, so here comes the void, all right? So do the same thing, right? Whoa. See, I just did a leg slip. So, put this away. So I'm here like this. And I, right, I just slipped the leg. Right, if they're lunging, I just slipped the leg. Whoop. I maintained that distance, he was going for that target, right? And now I'm still totally in balance, right? So I'm gonna show you again like this, try again, right? And I got you where I want you, okay? So that is a leg slip. It's very, very, very effective. Okay, so try try again with the leg slip. Drop. Right. He thought he was going for me. I did a leg slip. And I did a what's called a timed attack. I timed where his sword was gonna be, and I wanted to strike where his sword was not. Okay, so leg slip, timed attack. It's basic and easy. If you can read it, if you can see it coming. Okay, so. That's a, yeah, that's a leg slip. Now let's talk about a void. See, I don't have a shield, okay? So just do like a, what is that, a number five, right? Right, but I didn't do it right, did I? Right, that's, that's, that's a void, right? If I just kind of like <laughs> moved out of the way, that's called a void, right? And you know, it's a legit maneuver. So let's say just come like straight down for number seven. Oh, straight down, number my belly got in the way. Right, or, or just like a slight, like from in the other direction, like a number two kind of chop. Yeah, see, like that's a prime example. Ugh, I avoided that, right? And all I did is I just kind of shifted my weight here, I moved this way. And then again, I can time that attack. Because he's off balance, he's expecting some kind of pressure, some kind of counter, something that he can bounce back off of. But if I take that away from him with the void, then that knocks him off balance slightly for, you know, 0.2 seconds, and I can do what's called a timed attack, especially if I'm still balanced. <clears throat> okay, so, something weird with that camera. Yeah, someone was pushing buttons, it's recording at a weird rate. Okay, so, uh, that is a void. Um, boy, okay. So, blade and turtle go, with, go well with leg slips and voids. So let's just start there. Blades and turtles, okay. So, uh, show me a turtle attack. We gotta hustle. So that's a turtle. Yeah, a, a ward, right? That's, you gotta still cover your head, right? That's turtle, what's blade? Yeah, right, okay. So come at me like with a, what? A number, what's that? A number, number one, two attack? One attack, right? So I'm here, I do a blade, what's called a, a blade guard. I still void it just slightly, okay? Like that. My shield is covering my sword. My sword is actually here um, guarding his strike. Yeah, okay, stop, because we gotta hustle. Okay, try again, right? Like that, good? And then I come in like that, it's really easy. So, blade works really good with a void and then another timed attack, okay? And then for turtle, is great for uh, leg, slipping the leg, okay? Right, and that's just your insurance policy. Okay, so I slipped the leg, I came back here, and then there he is, and now I can attack him, okay? So, um, house and tent work really good in that way, but as a counter, as a defensive, or as a counter offensive, blade and turtle work really great for that kind of thing, so that just, I guess we're gonna have to wrap it up there because we're running out of, out of camera time, but that's just sort of shows you how to strategically use all of the guards. And the next time what we're gonna talk about is how we could use um, principles of the I-33, come here, principles of the I-33 manual in an MSF setting to make you just rock and roll as a fighter, okay? So that's next time. So until then, I'm Nate McBride with the Bladefoot Academy. Who are you?
excellent. And uh, we're going to fight. He's got wiggle. So I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>